Hey guys, I wanted to come with a quick update about something that just happened with Neighbor Food Express that signifies just how significant this program really is. As you know, we have a social work team who works directly with the families in the program. We take out free food and kids books and supplies every week, but the social work team works behind the scenes. They forge one-on-one -on -one relationships with each family they work with, and they help identify their specific needs to help get them out of food insecurity, establish a long-term plan for self-sustainability, and then connect them with all the agencies and resources they need to achieve that plan. Very significant work. They've been doing it for months, and it's been going very well. We just had a new family sign up for the program that was actually referred to us by Wake County Social Services. They filled out their registration form for them because the family is led by a single mom who's a primary Spanish speaker and English is a challenge, a barrier for her and her family. So one of our social work team members, Bolivia, is a fluent Spanish speaker. So I asked her if she'd take on that family and she said she would be happy to. She checked in with the mom. She found out what their exact needs are. She came back to me and she said, well, she really needs help with employment and career guidance. She's trying to find a better job, but not being able to speak English well is a barrier for her. Polybia identified Dress for Success in the Triangle as a great opportunity for this mother because they have helpful information about job seeking, career guidance, but a lot of what they have is material that's in English, whether that's webinars or videos they can watch or instructional materials. So here's what Polybia said. She said, Marcus, I'm going to watch all the webinars and the videos with Ms. Peralta and then I'm going to translate them for her while we watch them together. And I said, would you really? Because this is exactly why these guys are known as our hidden heroes. They do stuff like this all the time. It's not required of her to do something like that. But the fact that she would be willing to make that sacrifice shows how dedicated they are to helping these families and how committed they are to ensuring they get all the support they need. And so this is why I love these guys because they do this so much and they never get the credit they deserve. They don't get featured on social media as much. They're not really in the newsletter on YouTube. I've asked to feature them. They're shy. They don't want to be on camera. Shy or not, they are 100% committed. And I wanted to share that because it just gives you an idea of how that commitment comes through and all they do every day, every week for these families. So I love these guys. I hope you love them too. We are excited to continue doing this work, and we're looking forward to being just as impactful in the lives of so many more families as this program continues. So, aces, baby! <laughs>